Hey everyone, Kale with Antique Book Collective, and today I'm getting to you guys with another start an eBay business using X thing. Uh, I don't know how big of a playlist this will end up being, but I'm thinking it'll be a pretty cool playlist. But this one, guys, is start an eBay business using storage auctions. So guys, I'm sure you guys have all seen or at least heard about the TV show Storage Wars. I don't watch TV and I've heard about it. But guys, there are entire groups of people who their entire business, their entire li livelihood depends on going to these storage auction sites buying just one storage bin, potentially 10 storage bins, it really depends. But they buy out these places, they do it sight unseen, or potentially they look in at it, and then they take all these things and they sell them online, they sell them in person, they donate a bunch of stuff, all that sort of stuff. They decide what they want to do in their business. And guys, if you guys are brand new to this business, it could be worth something checking out. Uh, Personally, I have never done it. Personally, I don't expect that I'll do it anytime in the near future because there are so many other things that I would see as trash. I know they're not trash, but for me, I'm not interested in selling them. I'm not interested in listing them. I'm not interested in trying to sell them whatsoever. I'm not wanting to look at them, honestly. For me, I am books and almost exclusively books. I do have a couple other things that I buy and sell, but books are my thing. But if I did storage auction things, I'd have to look into selling couches, I'd have to look into baseball cards, Pokemon cards, all these sorts of things that I don't have expertise in, that a lot of people don't have expertise in, and, and that honestly for me, I would see a whole lot more time invested into looking these things up. Whereas with a book, I can grab a book and be like, oh, this is worth 40 bucks off the top of my head. I know roughly what a book is worth just because I've been doing it long enough. I become a bit of an expert. I wouldn't call myself an expert, but I do know a little bit I'm smarter than the average bear. Hey, boo boo. So that's something that's sort of the case for me. But I know of plenty of people that have entire businesses, guys, of just buying these things and selling them. Uh, there are some people I've talked to chatted with all that sort of stuff where they have it so they get a big old warehouse and they have a little storefront area where they let the walk-ins off a of craigslist or something meet them at the storefront area and then they'll grab the things from the warehouse area that way they don't have the who knows who going into the warehouse scouting things out to see what they can steal or see what they can have fall on them and sue you uh that sort of thing but um you could run your eBay business off of just those things that you can get at these storage auction sites. It's a great way to fill out an everything store if you guys want to do that. However, I know I said if you want to start an eBay business, I don't know if I'd start my eBay business off of just storage auctions. And that is just because sometimes you could spend a good amount at these storage auctions um, for this big old shed full of stuff you can pay up to a couple thousand dollars potentially if there's a lot of other people bidding. Other times I've heard about places where it's like, 20 bucks worth of stuff and it's just like you got how much that's like five grand worth of stuff and you paid 20 bucks what and sometimes there are really good places with really good deals that sort of thing and oftentimes a lot of these people that run these businesses they don't have to drive very far for them like let's say they live in downtown they only have to go to downtown or maybe to the suburbs whereas if you do a business like me of just antique books and only antique books, and okay, fine, I do some other things too, but almost exclusively antique books are my interest. But for me, I have driven hundreds upon hundreds of miles, like I want to say 400 miles or so. I can't remember the exact number, but I have, I've had some trips where I do between start and end, I've driven over a thousand miles for some of these trips. So thinking about storage op uh, auctions, it's like, oh, wow, I'd only have to drive four miles. That's... That's a little bit less driving. So, guys, that is something that could definitely be cool to do. Um, if you guys are brand new to this, I would actually recommend doing a... Uh, if you guys are doing everything business on eBay, at least, I would recommend going to Goodwill Outlet or an estate sale or something along those lines where you can pick and choose what you want and not be stuck with a bunch of stuff because, let's face it, if you are doing a storage auction thing, you'll need a truck, probably a box truck, so everything can be covered. Uh, of course, you could do it with just a trailer and a tarp, but long-term, it might be worth getting a box truck or something along those lines. So you do have to sort of mix and match, do what you really want to do, do what you've uh, learned a little bit about, but that is something that could be worth looking into if you guys are looking into doing an eBay business. Uh, there are so many different flavors of eBay businesses that you can do. There are so many amazing things that you can sell. And honestly, guys, you don't have to sell on just eBay. You could do Craigslist. You could do Facebook Marketplace. You could do the local newspaper. You can have just 
uh, a consignment shop. Honestly, guys, if you do these storage auction things, have a con uh, cons consignment shop. Man, I'm struggling to say. And just have all your things laid out all pretty. Like That could be an entire business model. I've known of plenty of people that run their own consignment shops. It's a great business model, especially if you can get these things for a very good price. So end of the day, guys, it's up to you to do what you really want to do. But I would like to just uh, keep you aware of the things that you guys can do to source for uh, these things. So with that said and done, though, guys, I hope this video was helpful. If so, be sure to check out one of my other videos or drop a like or drop a comment or most especially subscribe so with all that said and done again thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one